Hello and welcome to another video for Mars Touch Toys Game to Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 2007 release by character options from their Doctor Who series of 12 inch action figures. And this particular one we are looking at today is of the Cyber Leader. As, as he appeared in the David Tennant episodes, The Age of Steel uh, and The Rise of the Cybermen. Uh, and this is the box that it comes in. So, the top of the box, it says, with 14 points of articulation. You've got the BBC logo on the top right-hand corner. And it says, fully posable action figure, cyber leader, Doctor Who, ages 5+, plus, and you've got the character options logo at the bottom. And there's an image of the cyber leader uh, on the bottom left-hand side. And just behind the window, you can see the action figure himself. But before we have a look at the figure, what I'd like to do is turn the box around and see what we've got printed on the back. Okay, so I'll turn the box around. This is what we got. So again, it says Doctor Who, ages five and above. Uh, the Cybermen, tall, gleaming metal giants. The Cybermen were once human like us, but have received the ultimate upgrade. Their human brains are welded into their cybernetic bodies, which have been adapted so that the Cybermen are utterly devoid of emotion. The number one priority for the Cyber Race is to conquer all adversaries and convert them to create yet more Cybermen. All opposition, which cannot be upgraded, is uh, designated for deletion. Fully posable 30 centimeter action figure. And there you can see uh, Cybermen marching down. I think that's when they were marching into Torchwood. Um, could be wrong, but anyway, that is an image from the uh, TV series. And at the bottom, it says contents one 30 centimeter Cyber Leader action figure. Uh, you've got the character options, details, phone number, and uh, address. It says www.character-online.co.uk. Uh, items 12 inch cyber leader action figure item number 02126 uh, age grade five years and above and you've got the barcode at the bottom and uh, you've got an image of the TARDIS there and just underneath that you've got all the copyright information okay so that is the back of the box now what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the box and take the figure out so we can have a better look at it without any reflection on the uh, window. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've removed the Cyberman from the box and this is how he comes. He comes on this backing board um, and he's got, obviously the plastic is holding him in, in there and I can't take him off of there because as you can see at the back, he's all completely attached with tape that's holding on the um, the strapping so I can't actually remove him um, but let, we can have a good look at him from here so there we can see uh, the Cyberman is it now he is very very good likeness to the characters to the the, uh, the portrayal of the um, character on screen it's incredible likeness the body the face obviously it is a cyber face so they are pretty much standard but the whole thing is just incredible it really does look fantastic. Character options really, really done well on creating these 12-inch um, figures. I think they're probably the best Doctor Who figures ever produced, the 12, these 12-inch range. They were so good and so detailed. Um, all of the detail in the cyber body, um, even through here to the pants and the, and the arms, just absolutely phenomenal. The hands are also brilliant. And you've also got a cyber bomb that comes with it. Even the chest unit there, uh, which has even got, if you see that there, it's got the um, the connector on there. And then you've got the chest covering at the top, which just pops on. So you pop that on and you can pop that off. Uh, articulation wise, well, it says 14 points of articulation. Um, so we're obviously looking at the feet, the knees, the hips, the waist, the hands, the arms, the elbows, the shoulders, and the head. Um, I, I can't think of any other ones, but that, that is the um, articulation points. But the, this figure is just absolutely out of this world. I think they are fantastic. Like I say, character options done amazing with all of the 12-inch figure range. 
but they were so highly detailed. I mean, they're, 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 the, the six inch figures were detailed, very, very well detailed, but the 12 inch ones were just absolutely out of this world. It's a shame they stopped doing them um, because I just think they were just amazing. And I really do think they, they've they stood the test of time. I mean, we're talking, um, what year was this? This one made, 2007. So we're talking, you know, getting on for 17 years ago now um and they still have you know uh traveled the the, the time uh, um last of the test of time and they're still in absolute fan they still look absolutely fantastic um and what can i say i can't say no more i'm just just think they're just amazing uh, anyone that's got these figures must always think the same. The only th downside, I suppose, is that it's, it is plastic. It's not metal, as you would expect. But it says 30 centimetres on the box, and that's exactly what it is. Maybe a fraction over 30 centimetres or 12 inches. Um, so if we go width-wise from hand to hand, we're looking at 16, 17 centimetres. And depth-wise... Uh, we are looking at about four centimetres, no, maybe five centimetres from his back to the, the front of his chest. So that gives you an idea of the overall size of the figure. Um, but like I say, fantastic. Best figures ever produced. Best 12-inch figures ever produced. Um, and, yeah, nothing more I can say. Uh, obviously, at the time, these figures didn't do as well as everyone had expected them to do. Um, we were crying out for Doctor Who merchandise. Uh, the six-inch figures all came out, and a lot of people were really happy with the six-inch figures. And then they produced the 12-inch figures, which didn't sell to the volumes that I think was expected to. Um, so the, the, they didn't continue the line. The lines were finished, which is a great, great shame because they are superb. Anyway, as a result, they've become quite collectible, um, and now they're become, becoming harder and harder to find in this mint, unopened condition, um, just like this one. But, as usual, we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few, and they're currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website, and you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Doctor Who items. And many other vintage toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new items which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.